I'm gonna show you guys how to make an origami box perfect for your Christmas cookies. Okay, and more. Okay, we are making cookies and we're getting ready to give them away to our neighbors. Banjo's helping, Lizzie's helping. Oh. Yep, we sure did. Thanks, Banjo. So we are getting ready. Oh my goodness. Is that yummy? <laughs> we have been baking all day today. And it's crazy nuts. We made caramel corn. Should we do crushed peanuts at um, No. But here we have, we're gonna stuff the cookies in these boxes. It's hard to see in the dark. I'll show you later. Oh, that's so awesome. Hey, just a minute, they're too hot. Oh, they're cooked. Oh, they already, oh wow, that was fast. Yeah. What do you have? I just picked Brussels sprouts from the garden that's been frozen what? for two weeks. That's amazing. How in the heck are they not squishy from being frozen? I knew they were kind of frost tolerant, but I didn't know they were this. That's amazing. I mean, I've known that you could store them in the freezer, so there you go. Yeah, so just like frozen Brussels sprouts that we could at the store, uh, these were naturally frozen and they began to just started to thaw out today, so I thought I'd check them. <laughs> they're still fine. Well, does that mean we can go get our cabbage out there, too? We or do you, have a lot do of you think they're giant ice cubes of cabbage? <laughs> and if so, good. well... So this is to counteract the sugar that we're eating. So. Oh my goodness, when we made the caramel corn? Which yeah. was, this afternoon we made the caramel corn. Look at all this. It um, is so good. It's delicious. I would recommend, I don't remember where, I just Googled it, what the recipe was. Anyway, but we, <laughs> we all snitched like one piece here, one piece there. I have a serious headache just from caramel corn. <laughs> but it's all fun. It's all for Christmas. <laughs> it's not hot? It's not burning in my um, hand. You want to check and see if the jelly is hot though? Is it good? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Good. It's not hot. A little. Okay. Okay, so here's the extra. We put some mint uh, essential oil in there. Now we're putting marshmallow. This is how we use up all our extra chocolate. Oops. Ah. Uh -oh. ah. Anyway, that's how I make my marshmallow bar, my mint flavored marshmallow bar. It's like not even a thing. You melt chocolate chips, put mint in it, and put marshmallows in it, and then you're done. It's good. And it's really, really yummy. There's a double marshmallow, Mom! That's so special. Oh, wait. Double. Oh, they're just stuck together. Okay, well I better help so that we can get this all over our floor or in our mouths on accident. Because we're supposed to be giving it to our friends. Around the holidays, everybody loves to share treats with their neighbors, and I love doing it in an artful way. And so I just use some 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper and you make a lid out of the same size paper as the bottom. All you do is just fold it a little bit differently. And if you don't have the 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper, you can use brown grocery paper bags if you just cut them into a square. And so that's all you need is a square piece of paper and you can create an origami box. Okay, you start with the 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper. And it's it doesn't matter if it has two sides because it will um, the way we fold it, it will be colorful all the way through. Okay, so you fold it in half and you make a crease there. Then you fold it in half again. You're just trying to mark the middle for where the next folds. 
You could do that with a ruler, but this is simple and easy enough. Okay, so now we've creased the middle. And now the next step is to bring corners to the middle. And you do that with every corner. For your teacher? Yeah, we're gonna give a treat to your teacher. Huh? A Christmas treat. All right, now that you've folded all of the points to the middle, the next thing you do is you bring this edge and line it up to the middle and fold it with every single side. So I just line it up right here. Thanks, oh, Emmy. Point. Yep. Emmy, hold on. Good job. Are you helping? Mine. Yeah, you made that one. Okay, so now we're doing this side. And once we're done with this side, we're gonna be opening it up and folding the other corners in as well. Now you have a crease from folding every single side in. The next thing we do is we're gonna open it up and we're gonna make sure this right here is folding there's a crease there but it's going the opposite way so we're gonna fold it so that it goes the right way and then open it up and do that again on the other side okay here's the next part Lizzie's an expert the next thing you do is you're gonna hold it like this if you want to see how Lizzie's holding it you've got two of them in the middle and you put these up as the walls then you'll see this part right here. This specific square right here is gonna be the one that you fold up. Okay, so this part's tricky, so I'm gonna explain it in detail. You're gonna to want to bring these in to each other. And so this one's gonna fold in half. So that's gonna happen on all of them. And then this will go in, see? So you've gotta find this square make sure these edges meet, and then crease this side. Hi, Everett. Are you saying hi to Everett? Yeah. And there you go. Did I do it right? Yep, yeah, looks good. Ta-da! And then you just stuff it with whatever you want, and then you make another one as a lid. What? And <laughs> um, so my mom, she didn't want to make two boxes when after I taught her how to make these, she thought they were so fun. But then she was tired after making it, and so she didn't want to make a lid. So she put it in a cellophane bag, and then tied a bow on the top, and called it good. So you don't have to make a lid. But if you were going to make a lid, you would simply get all the points to the middle, just like when you're starting the normal box. And then when you're ready to fold these in, I would not fold it all the way to this point. I would fold it back a ways. And that's all you do, good job in, to make the lid bigger. And so all that does is make it so that the box is just slightly bigger on each edge and then it can easily slide on to your other box. That's it. Ta-da! So I'll do one last fast motion of how to do the whole thing. And that's it. And you can make an easy um, once you get the hang of it, they're very easy. Me and Lizzie made all of these in the, this morning. And uh, you can make them out of scrap paper, you can make them out of grocery bags, and they're really fun. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys have a happy Christmas, and we will see you next time. Bye! Happy Christmas. So get three marshmallow pieces, Banjo, and then we're going to do three of the chocolate cookies. But they're still out in the cold, they're turning hard.
Good job.